Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video today, I am going to show you what is suit analytics. Let's see, it's an introductory video for suit analytics. What is suit analytics workbook? It's a new analytical tool available in NetSuite. With Suit Analytics Workbook, you can create highly customizable workbooks that combine data sets, table, pivot table, and charts. See, we have learned about saved searches and reporting in NetSuite, but there are some limitations there. But in this Suit Analytics Workbooks, there is no limitations because we can apply the query according to our requirement. We can apply a query at line level information, or we can apply query on two records. So in this way, it is highly customizable and highly flexible. And what is data set? In a data set, you combine record type, fields, criteria, filter to record a query. You can apply anything like uh, fields. You can apply filter to line level information of a record. The result of this query act as a data source of your workbook visualization. And that's workbook can be used for analytics. Now see here. First of all, you have to enable the feature of suit analytics. For that, you need to go to Setup, Company, and Enable feature. Let me show you. Here it is. Setup, Company, Enable feature. And from here, you will see Analytics. And from here, you have to check this checkbox. Suit Analytics Workbook. After that, here we come. We have uh, checked the checkbox and then we have how to create the new data set. Now for this, you need to go to analytics up to this. The task is over now. Now here in the analytics part. Now in the analytics part, you will see two options. One is workbooks. These are different templates to create the workbook. You can use it and we will learn in our uh, upcoming videos. What is workbook and how to use them. These are the data sets. Data sets means whenever you apply filters and queries on a record type or table, in that case, after the filter data, what we receive, that is the data set and you can use it as for analytics. Now here you can create a new data set like this, right? Now just take an example. I have uh, taken our uh, usual record that is sales order form. I have clicked on this. Now you will see here. Let me show you the record. See sales order form total 12 records. Now, if I click see here, you can see the 12 records. Let me show you these 12 records, right? Now, suppose if I want to add something more like uh, warehouse location. I have added here warehouse location. Total rows are 12. Now, how to apply the query on this? Suppose if I want to show only name Abraham, I will drag this name here, contains ABR and apply. That means in the back end, the query runs select star from table name where name equal to. Uh, the wildcard character with ABR name is ABR contains ABR right now in this way. Now I can add one more that is suppose either the name contains ABR and warehouse location contains Hong Kong. So if I drag this contains Hong. It is just like the query runs, for example, like the like query you might have heard about. Select star from table name where name like ABR, name like ABR and warehouse location like. Hong. In the back end, this type of query will be executed. Now, if I apply this, 
now here and is there so only one record is uh, received look at this abraham and hong kong but if i make it as or either name contains abr or warehouse location contains hong so in this way seven records are there look at this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and abr is here so in this way a very simple query i have executed here now suppose if you want to apply left inner join right inner join there is a facility to use this left inner join that we will learn in our upcoming videos and we can apply the filters on line level information or in between two records and after this when you get the complete data set after applying everything you can export it from here i have already exported the data let me show you look at this sales order form data set let me open this see either name contains abr or warehouse location contains hong and in this way the complete excel sheet can be used as a for analytics data source you can add here the ship to city also here from here you can do so many things like let me show you either remove make last column move right sort sorting facility is also there rename you can rename this so that in the excel sheet you will find the same header so in this way how to create a data set this is the way to data set now i can add one more thing like shipping carrier company here like any of evergreen and then apply and after that you can add either and or or so suppose if i make want to make it because it also creates a difference so you can uh, make it up make it down because since the query is very simple so it will not change any row so this is how we apply the role uh, rules of query in our next video we will see how to uh, apply uh, in uh, inner joins on this data so guys i hope this video will be uh, fruitful for you and i rec uh, recommend you to practice these data sets and if you have any doubt you can uh, write down in the comment box i will try to resolve your query and then we will see further more operations on this till then thanks for watching the video subscribe my channel thank you for watching thanks